Saturday, Vanderbilt is going to Notre Dame. And we talk about yards per carry against Ball State. We talk about those things. But the other score that maybe you overlooked in this game is 1508 to 1447. And that's the average SAT score for Vanderbilt versus the average SAT score for Notre Dame. So right off the top, you got a bunch of smart kids that are playing football against each other. And great defense at Vanderbilt for a change. We'll see how that works against Notre Dame. Mark, talk to us. Tell you what, Coach. Vanderbilt is no Ball State. They're better than Ball State. Matter of fact, they're undefeated this season. Derek Mason's done a terrific job. Kyle Shriver, their quarterback. Remember that name, Coach. <laughs> Kyle's going to throw for four touchdowns against your Notre Dame defense. No, I'll take it back. Let's just make it three touchdowns against the defense. I don't want to overload you on this because this is a quarterback that's thrown for four touchdowns this season, Coach, without an interception. Hmm. That guy down in South Bend, he threw for one, two, no, three interceptions against Ball State. A 2 and 10 team from last year. Ball State rushed for 169 yards against your defense. I got Vanderbilt in the upset, outright, straight down, upset, in the dome. Guess what? The Golden Dovers are going to walk out of there with tears dropping down their eyes because Vanderbilt's going to pull it out in the fourth quarter. 23 to 21, Coach. Vandy upsets Notre Dame. Mark, as a former football coach, including one at the University of Notre Dame, you look at the schedule, you say, you know, there's certain games we've got to peak and we've got to be ready for it. There's certain games we can slide by. For example, we better be ready for Michigan. And they were ready. They played great. Uh, in Paul State, they, they were 0-8 in the conference last year. We don't have to be ready. Later, we got pit. We, we don't have to worry about that. We can have a Easy. downtime there. But against Vanderbilt coming at home, this is a better Vanderbilt team than they had in recent years uh, but with same token you look at uh, Notre Dame and the problem Notre Dame last year they were like seventh in the country in rushing this year they're like a hundredth in rushing they have not had the ability to run the football they lost two great offensive linemen but the one thing I know about Notre Dame you always have good offensive linemen there and I think Notre Dame will bounce back I don't think it's going to be particularly close Notre Dame is upset because we didn't play well last week and we beat Vanderbilt 31 to 10. Gentlemen this is a third meeting and Notre Dame's 2-0 oh. um, closest one 1996 it was a 14 to 7 score Notre Dame did win but uh, even, you know, be as objective as possible of a Catholic kid from Paul Horning's hometown, Vanderbilt looks pretty good on defense, so we'll see how that goes.